Okay, good day everybody. Uh, this video is about the Absco shed, myself, my father and uh, one of my work colleagues built up. And it's a great little shed and it's part of the grass off prize for the uh, random draw for the grass off. Yeah, this is a great little shed and I just wanted to talk about that. So the Absco shed, it's a really easy shed to build up. It's really cheap and it's really good quality. That's why I selected it for the grass off. I had one in my old place. It was fantastic build and that experience really helped me this time building it up. Now it's quite a simple matter of to make up your panels and they screw together. On the edge of those panels you'll have channels. You'll need to put a splice between a couple of channels, put them together and put them on the edge of the panels that you make up. Really, really simple. Once your panel's all done, you can put them all together. And uh, you'll need a few people for that. It's all a bit of fun. Then after you've done, the, done all that, uh, you put your doors on, and the doors are just made up sort of the same way, but you've got a bit of a brace that you've got to put on them. Then you put your roof on, and you'll need to, you'll need to read your instructions there because you'll have to take a couple of screws out to fit it back in and then put them back in. So it's a really good set of instructions, very intuitive. Just be mindful to take note that on the instructions you'll see little holes because there'll be different holes on different panels. You'll need to really pay attention to what you're doing there. My big tip is read the instructions and, and do what it says. <laughs> well, we didn't read the instructions. Because it's really intuitive and about halfway halfway sort of through the instructions you get a bit confident and you go yeah I know how this is all working and you start doing it and uh, then you'll start making mistakes so that's my real big tip but look this went over went up over two days and the only thing that held me up was that I didn't have a pop rivet gun uh, for the doors and uh, other than that it's fantastic so let's take a look at the, the shed here this is uh, one of the prizes in the grass off the Mo Master and that'll fit in the shed. This is part of the prize that you get with the shed as well. But anyway, this is about the shed, not about the mower. So let's get into it. Now, I re really like to thank my, uh, the owner of this house. I rent this house. He was kind enough to offer to put the power uh, in the shed, so that's good. I went for a cream coloured simply because the old shed was a cream coloured. I do prefer the woodland grey uh, look, but you know, I thought it'd be a little bit out of place. This is a 2.92 metre by 3 metre shed, so just under 3 by 3. Um, the cool thing about it is that we don't have to do council approval, you just got to make sure that it's a metre away from the back of the fence and you're right to go. It's a basic shed, you come in here and um, it houses all your all your stuff quite easily and I've got power on here now which is really nice really nice job there by the local electrician here at Port Augusta got a light here so that's good and what I really do like what came with the kit with this shed is that you get the anchoring bolts it's just a fantastic shed I I bought one of these before. Um, this one, I had a chat to Absco, they actually gave me this shed and also donated the shed as part of the grass off because when I had the shed at the last place, um, a lot of people went out and bought this shed and uh, really liked it. So we went with them again. Look, it's been really windy here ever since it's been put up and it hasn't moved, it's great. Um, the only, uh, the only uh, problem that you do have it with it is that you do need a few people um, at the same time just to hold walls up and everything okay. because you're just joining the walls by the by the corners um, and you, you need to jiggle everything around to find the holes but once you do that once you've got a couple of them up it gets easier and then the roof is quite easy to put up uh, and yeah and then you've got a shed really on the cheap if you sort of think that you're gonna get this shed and slap it together yourself in a couple of hours that's that's uh, that's being a bit um, brave um, I'm not an exceptional uh, person at building things or anything like that. I don't figure myself particularly handy, but uh, with the hand of uh, yeah, my father and, and my co-mate, uh, my co-worker Bradley, uh, in an afternoon, 
you know, with a barbecue afterwards and then, uh, then we just had to source a pop rivet gun the next day to finish off the doors. So really happy with the result. Great cheap shed and uh, good quality and uh, yeah it's an option if you're looking for a shed for the backyard and if you're in the grass off you could actually win this one. Don't have to have the best lawn uh, to win the prize. The major prize draw which includes the mow master mower and everything else uh, including the shed including 50 square meters of lawn from Lawn Solutions Australia and, and even some car care cleaning kit from Bowdens. <laughs> So that 10 times really fast. You can win all that just by entering your lawn and following everything that we put on our top, pip, top pin posts on our Facebook page. Anyway, I, I love this shed and uh, you know, um, maybe I'll stay here for a while. I hope I do. Uh, if I don't, the next place I'm gonna have, I'm gonna definitely get Napsco shed. Get your lawn on, check them out. So India, all out for 36. That's incredible. Oh, not quite all it. out. Last one retired here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. no, there's another one here. Oh, that's right, that one was in India, absco-sheds.com.au is the place to go. They do a lot more than sheds. And they also have a app to really help you with your building experience. Also some YouTube support with videos. And look, with the snap light system, it is a fantastic product and easy to build. Jelona.